The quaint downtown square of McKinney, Texas, promises historic good times. But the good vibes have been smothered by the historic coronavirus. The pandemic is casting a long shadow over the 2020 presidential election. I think the whole COVID thing's being used as a tool to divide us as a country instead of coming together, which I think is really sad for our country. Margie Schreer and Kelly Tallow both support President Trump and say he's done an honest job of handling the pandemic. I think he's probably doing the best that he can right now. I mean, there's so much mixed information out there and trying to decipher what's fact and what's fiction and where it's coming from. It's tough. I wouldn't want to be in his position. Although I don't always like his decisions, I think his intentions are always good. In his own, I think he gathers the information and he makes the decision for our country and not for an ulterior motive of personal gain. McKinney, Texas is one of the historically conservative big city suburbs where political analysts say Trump is vulnerable. And it's the kind of area Joe Biden is now targeting with a new television ad. This virus is tough, but Texas is tougher. Recent polls show Trump and Biden locked in a tight race in Texas. Of course, the idea of a Democrat winning Texas is still viewed with high skepticism. But there is a strong wave of anger toward President Trump among some Texas voters. How do you think President Trump has handled this pandemic? Failure. Total failure. His actions and lack of actions have exacerbated the effects of the pandemics on all Americans. He's not taking responsibility for anything that he does. He always blames someone else. He said, you know, there's no danger at all. Nobody has died. It's just, uh, it's going to go away by itself. And uh, those are the things, you know, which really bothers me as a citizen that uh, he really take it very uh, lightly. For some Trump supporters, the president is a victim of unfair criticism, politically motivated in an election year. He had to hit the ground running in all of the unknowns. And I feel like he's been second guessed for the majority of it. It's easy now to become an armchair quarterback.